Hey everyone, Kevin Oxner here with visualproductivity.net. Today we're talking about the tools menu in Xmind 7. Now, the tools menu is loaded with a lot of pro features. It's pretty much all pro except there's one little thing in there for people with freebies. If you're still working with the free version of Xmind, that's awesome, but why don't you go ahead and watch what I'm gonna show you, and there's also several other tutorials you can get into if you wanna go deeper, but maybe look at a couple reasons why you might wanna consider upgrading to the paid version, the pro version of Xmind. Otherwise, the import Xmind workbook is still a pretty cool feature, so let's check it out. Most of these topics are gonna to have additional tutorials, so this is more of an overview, and then if you wanna go deeper again, you can see that they're already starting to get a few linked up those will be able to take you into something deeper and, and a bit meatier. If you want to get a copy of this cheat sheet that I'm working with, this is the Xmind 7 cheat sheet. You can head over to visualproductivity.net and get, a, your own, get your own copy. All I ask is that you check out my newsletter and I'd really appreciate that. All right, let's talk about these things and let's talk about each individual one. The map shot, yes, it is a pro feature. It is neat though because what it does, it's pretty much, it's just a screen capture but because it's embedded in Xmind, it just makes things a lot faster. So if I want, I can go, I'll hit F7, and now I've got my maps. You can see that the, you can see that my mouse has turned into a little plus sign, and I can just go ahead and I'm gonna just take a picture of whatever I want. If I like that, I can go ahead and I can still readjust things to make sure I get everything perfect, like you know, whatever you want, just like that. When I'm done, I hit the Enter key. That's a key, it doesn't really tell you, but you know, we can try and figure it out here. Let's go here, let's just move this over. Perfect, we like that. Enter. You can go into the preferences section in under edit preferences, and that will let you know where it saves. This one tells me it's saved to my desktop. And there we go, it gives you a chance to open it. You can still see I'm still in. I can take several uh, map shots. When I'm done, I hit the escape key, and it takes me back out. So merge is another Pro feature, it's something you could probably do if you copied and pasted, but this just makes it a lot easier. What it will do is it'll take this map, what takes whatever I'm currently on, and I can choose another map, so another tab in the whatever I'm working on, and I can merge those two together. So let's go ahead and we'll get this done. So we're gonna go into Tools, we're gonna choose Merge, and it's gonna give me an option. Because I have two workbooks open, you can see I've got all my different things that I've got listed. And maybe I want to do the About Kevin, and I will hit OK. And there we go, all done. So now it's just taking those two things and let's put them together. This is a, just a cool thing where if I've got several topics that I just I had separate and I want to bring them together, I've got something from a different map, a different workbook, I can just bring it all together and merge them. I'm going to go ahead and undo that because I don't want you guys having a cluttered up workbook that you've taken with you. All right. So there you go, it's more of a, I would say it's not the reason why you buy Xmind Pro, but it's just one of those extra features where it just, it adds and enhances what you're working on when you're, when you're using the tool. Import Xmind Workbook. This is the one that's still part of the free. This is, it's surrounded by Pro, but this is still a free one. Uh, Xmind, when you're exporting, it just combines workbooks together. So it'll bring over all the sheets from another workbook. So it, that's really all it does. If I wanna combine these two into one, I would imp import. So first of all, open up the one that you want everything coming into, if it matters which one, and then you go ahead and you hit import and then you bring it in. That's really all it is. Extract style. This is neat because when you're talking about styles, what a style is, and you may wonder why style and theme, what's the difference? A theme is just everything. A theme includes the background, how the styles look, and all those other things. A style is just gonna be the relationships, how the the lines that go between things, the topics, so that's the the font and everything you use for the topics, and the, the boundaries and different lines that you're using. So that all is is included in the style. The, the theme is right, the theme is everything. The style is just those mostly those three things. I think that's the only three things. So if I want to go in and just change the line format or change the styles, I can do that, and then I can extract it. And I'm, I'll go into, I don't have any save because I don't really use this that often, but it is handy if you guys are more into making things look pretty all the time. I'm gonna click on this, and here are all the properties for what I'm working on. Now, you can see under my styles, that's where I'd be able to choose. And there are already some default ones that have been made. They weren't made by me. And this is where your new style would pop up. So you could go ahead and you could change the, how things look by just doing that. 
So really simple, really handy. If you've made some beautiful stuff and you want to save it for later, but you don't want to save it as a theme, this is where you would put it. So a neat tool, it works great. Uh, definitely, again, one of those other auxiliary features of Pro that make it just even better than what it already is. Uh, extract theme, we've already talked about style. Theme is very similar. It let you, lets you save a custom theme. So I've got a whole tutorial on this as well. Uh, search on web, I don't think anyone uses this thing, but it's, it's a cool feature. What search on web does, and I wish there was a shortcut to it, is it takes which everything you've got linked in. So let's just go import Xmine workbook. I'm gonna choose that and I wanna search the web for that exact phrase. Well, I can go into tools menu, search on web, and it'll go to my default web browser right here and it doesn't search for it. It's simple and yes, you, you can definitely copy and paste and just, but this is actually pretty pretty simple, pretty easy. And that's, that's what it's there for. The last two tools on this list are import and export XMind resource bundles. Uh, what they really end up being is it includes, uh, resource bundle includes the theme, marker, uh, markers, clip art, and templates. So you can take all those things, bundle them up, and I can share them with you or share them with someone else. We can move things back and forth. And it's just a, it's a neat way to make sure that the look and feel of what you're creating has been preserved. I like the idea. I almost wish that the importing function would have been a non-pro feature, but I understand what they're doing and it, you know, it makes a lot of sense because to have that customization, it's just sometimes you gotta pay a couple bucks to get that done. I definitely love this feature and I know this is gonna take Xmind to, to new heights as people start sharing resource bundles on the web. All right guys, you know what, that's it for now. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, I'm here, like always, please like it. Hit the like button, leave me a comment down below. Let's talk about something. Have you tried one of these things? Is it working for you? Do you have a question about something? Go ahead, let me know. I'm always here, I'm always happy to answer questions and get involved in conversation. Uh, until next time, go guys, thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care.